Now let's try this out. Okay, not too much on me. I know it is not time for turtlenecks. I know. Hey girl. Today we have a fall makeup haul. A Sephora haul. I know some of you don't watch my vlogs. I already did this little haul in one of my vlogs, but I'm gonna haul it and I'm also gonna try the products on with you guys. So some of these I did not haul in that vlog, but here we are, we have the bag. I have the Say Lip Oil. I went ahead and grabbed another one because I actually really, 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 really like this lip oil. The first one I got was a clear. This one is called Push, which is supposed to be like a chocolate brown. And I want this to be my lip color today. I just put on a little bit of the Sephora collection gloss just to, you know, so my lips can be moisturized. But this is, look at this color. Look at this color. So the one that I already got is in my purse, but it's, um, it's like a pink, but it literally goes on clear. I also got a new concealer, you guys, House Labs. I've heard nothing, nothing, nothing but good things about this concealer. So yes, we are trying this out today. I got the shade 40 Medium. Um, I also got another one of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Fall, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish. This is just a finishing powder. And I wanted to get the little travel size one this time because I don't use much of this stuff. I literally just put it on under my eyes. And um, y'all, when I first opened this, I thought nothing was in it. Girl, I got mad. But there's actually, like, you have to lift this. Or maybe I just open it up. Maybe, yeah. Oops. You're really supposed to open it up on that side. But I was a little worried, girl. But this in there. It was in there. So this is in the shade 310. So, yeah, this is just, I just always just put some, just a little bit under my eyes to, you know, smooth everything out so i decided to just get the little one because i honestly don't need that much glossier glossier new foundation it's the stretch fluid foundation i picked up the shade medium deep three and i said in the vlog that i felt like this um i feel like this is gonna be kind of sort of like nars sheer glow because when i tried it on in store and i usually don't try products on in store but i went in there with no makeup which i always do um i just really wanted to make sure the color was going to work so that way i don't have to go back to the store to return it so i just did like a little like a little bitty tiny dot and then i just kind of wiped it on my face and i felt like this color was almost spot on but i don't know until i start putting it all over but it does have a little pump and yeah i'm excited for that and this this is what i'm very excited about you guys danessa myrick's groundwork defining neutrals palette this thing is a little pricey like she's a good penny but i wanted it and i had like a treat yourself moment in sephora that day so i went ahead and got it so this can be used on the face you know your eyes your cheeks i definitely want to do it on my eyes and also maybe try something out on the cheeks or like i don't know you can also use it on the brows too so well, this is how it looks I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Some Merit products. I got their new eyeshadow. This is their Solo Shadow, and I got it in the shade Viper. The shade I really wanted was sold out. Look at the color. Look, at, look, 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 look. Gorgeous. So we're using this on the eyes today. And I can't wait. And I got the little brush to go with it. This is called the brush number two. It's a little bitty double-sided brush. I need to clear out this SD card. I don't ever be prepared when I sit down to film a video. I literally just turn the camera on. I see that the battery is in it and I see that a card is in it. I just turn the camera on. But anyway, this is the little brush that I'm gonna use with the Solo Shadow. Um, I got a new foundation brush that we're gonna use today. This is the Sephora Collection Pro, Bru Pro Brush number 64. Cause I've been telling you guys, I've been like really into brushes lately. I don't know why, cause y'all know I like a sponge. So yeah, I've just been really into foundation brushes. And I wanna give this one a try. Dang, I should've washed it. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Cause 
I always wash my brushes before using them, but that's how it looks. Really nice. I also got this new Fenty product. This is their Stick Shadow in the shade In Big Truffle. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't get the one from Merit when it, you know, when it got back in stock because this is brown. And I have enough brown shadows already. Look at that, look at that. I wonder if I can put this on the lips too. I don't know, but it's pretty. So all of these products are literally like for the fall. So that's why I called it my fall haul. <laughs> and then the last product I got in here is a new lipstick. Well, it's a new shade because I already own this, but um, I wanted to get a different shade because I like, I really like the form. The shade is called Squad Goals. So the one I have is in the shade No Regrets. And this is a light beige nude. And Squad Goals is supposed to be like a more, it's a little darker. It's like a, um, it's a brown, it's a little bit darker. So yeah, this is the new one. But I'm gonna use this today with the um, lip gloss oil from Say. So now let's put the face on. <laughs> let's put the face on. Let me clear the card out first. My skin is already prepped. Um, only thing I need to do though is put on my sunscreen or a primer. Hmm. I'm gonna do Summer Fridays today, the Summer Fridays sunscreen, and then I'm gonna top it off with the Undone Beauty um, Priming Oil. Mm. Also, I just did my nails, and they are so pretty. I love, love, love them. They're a new set. It's a brand that I've never tried. It's by um, Static Nails, and they're holographic. It's like unicorn holographic. French tips. They're still kind of long. I'm gonna file them down some cause they're a little too long for my liking. And I'm also gonna make them a little bit more narrow. Out of all the sunscreens I've tried from Sephora, my favorite one would definitely have to be Belief. Belief Aqua Bomb sunscreen. This one's okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. All right, now we're gonna go in with, I'm gonna put some on my fingers instead of rubbing it on my face. And you don't need much of this, y'all. Just a little bit. A little dab will do ya. Brows, I'm using the Kosas Brow Pop, the Nano Brow Pop. My favorite brow pencil right now. I probably should have closed my door because all I hear is the washing machine. And you guys probably hear it too. But it's cool, it's cool. Now let's try this out. I'm excited. Okay, we're gonna do a little pump on the hand first. Coming out, it looks pretty, like it, it's, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's not running or anything. Let's see. Light to medium coverage, natural finish. All right, so there's that. Let's use our Sephora brush to blend it out with. But I think this color is, I mean, in store, it looked really good. Like it almost looked like I didn't put anything on. That's just how good the shade looked. But y'all know the lights in Sephora be tricking us. So yeah, I'm gonna put some right here. Look at that. And some right here. Ooh, I like the way this feels. Look at that. It's like I didn't put any, like this is the per shade yeah this is a really soft brush so I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend out the rest I really like really and truly feel like this is NARS Shearlo I mean have any of you tried it yet mmm Mm, mm, mm. And I don't have any more on, so I'm gonna put a like one more pump or a half a pump, more or less one full pump. But oh my gosh, y'all! Oh my gosh! I probably don't even need a freaking sponge to blend this out because this brush is doing what it needs to do. But oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is looking nice. 
real nice. The naturalness of it is giving Nora Shirlo, and that's one of my favorite foundations. Um, okay, let's try out House Labs Concealer and cross our fingers that this, this shade looks good. So again, I got 40 medium, medium deep golden. So I'm gonna do a little swatch right here on the hand. I don't know, this might be a little too golden. I don't like my concealers to be too, you know, I don't like it to be too, too warm. Cause I like to use it to highlight my under eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna do about that much right there. I mean, the color looks, looks pretty good. I'm gonna flip the doe foot. Oh, did I show y'all that the applicator? It's flat on each side, so I use that side. I'm gonna use this side. That's what I like about, um, that's one thing I like about no foot applicators like this, is you don't have to dip it back into the product. You can just use one side on one side of your face and then the other side on the other. But yeah, and I'm gonna use the rest right here on my chin, just like that. I'm excited. Okay, let's see how it blends out. Ooh, I like how it has that click. You know how some products, when you twist it, there's like a little click? That clicks. You probably didn't hear it, but I like that. It's satisfying to me. So, let's see how this looks, y'all. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques double-sided, dual-sided face sponge and just blend it out with the orange side. Uh, let me close my door because this washing machine is getting on my nerves. But this is how the concealer is looking. It almost looks like it just blended into the foundation. Like it almost looks like I didn't put anything on. <laughs> I don't know, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, it's just going like, it's nice though, but uh, okay, this side looks better than this side because this side I let sit longer. Obviously, you know, it'll sit longer. I just started blending it out. So I think I'm gonna have to let the concealer sit a little bit before actually blending it out. Yeah, I can, I can tell a difference. This side looks, like I can see more of a smooth, brighter under eye on this side than I can with this side because, I mean, most of the product was soaked in. So with this concealer, I'm definitely gonna let it sit before actually blending it out. But it looks pretty good. The color's good. The color's definitely a good one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna blend out the chin. Yeah, so, ooh, I can, look at that. Can y'all see? Hopefully y'all can see what I'm seeing, but I definitely like how it looks like when I start blending it out, I like how it looks after it sits instead of just going straight into blending. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more and I usually don't do this, but I want just a little bit more like right here and right here and I'm gonna let it sit for just a little bit. And I'm gonna also take some on my lid. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let it fan, fan the face some. I got my Patrick Ta fan. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Okay, that should be good. All right, let's blend it out. Let's do the eyes first. Yeah. Letting it sit is best for me. At least for me. Yeah. Yeah. That is much, much, much better. Do y'all see? Do you see? Yeah. Much better. All right, Huda Beauty setting powder. The usual, the usual, the usual. And 
attention. All right. Under eye is set, chin is set. Now I just need to go in and set the um, perimeter of my face. I'm gonna do this real quick too with the setting powder. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Press Foundation. Do, 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 do. Voila, voila, voila. Taking a little bit, not much. You literally don't need much. And just, oops, sorry y'all. I just hit the mic. But you just set where you applied the liquid foundation. Are you seeing the skin? Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. Love, love, love how it's looking right now. Bronzer's next. I don't have a new, ooh, I take that back. Let's try a shade in this to see if it'll work as a bronzer. So I'm thinking Harvest. That shade right there in the middle. Let me go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch for you guys. Velvety, ooh, this is like, it's very soft, but this is the color, y'all. I don't know though, because it doesn't look like, it doesn't look super pigmented. Ooh, that's pretty. That might be too, I don't know, let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's just see what it looks like on the face as a bronzer. We're gonna take this little gold brush from Tarte and just see, cause I mean, you can use this however you wanna use it, girl. All right, I'm assuming I picked up a good amount. Let's see. Wait, let me blend it out cause I put, it's like a patch of it right there, but let me try to blend it out some. What? This smells good. Kind of smells like, I don't know. It just smells good to me. It's not strong, but it kind of smells like a perfumey slash plastic scent. But I like it for some reason. I don't know. But, oh my gosh, y'all, wait a minute. This might be real cute. Let me do the other side. This might be real cute for a bronzer girl. But the downside is if I do like it as a bronzer, I know, like if I use it, oh, this looks good. If I use it as a bronzer, I know I'm not gonna get, a, um, I know I'm gonna go through it because it's so small, like it's like a little, bit in there. But if I wanted to use this as like a full face type of situation, like if I'm traveling, this might be it, girl. Okay, I might need to go darker with the forehead. Sculpt it looks like it'll be too, no bark might work. Let's try to mix it. Mm. Let's do a little bit of bark and a little bit of harvest just for the forehead because the forehead is darker. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Wait a minute, girl. This might be the palette, like the palette that I didn't know I needed. Like for real, for real. For Okay, I put too much right here. Ooh, let me try to blend that out. But for real, for real. Uh, <gasps> Y'all, the warmth. The warmth <laughs> that I am getting from this palette. Mm. Okay, Danessa, okay. I wanna use another shade. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited for this. Okay, I'm gonna use my little brush that I always use for my nose. This is a little Sonia Kashuk travel size eyeshadow brush. But I always use this to contour my nose. So instead of dipping into the the bronzer that I usually use. I'm gonna stick with the same palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here because I don't like too much of a warm shade on my nose. So I'm just gonna go in with Bark 
because bark is deeper, but it's not as warm as harvest. So I'm just gonna place it right here. Oh yes, girl. Okay, this is, this spot, y'all about to see this palette in a lot of my get ready with me's. And y'all know when I get ready, like when I put my makeup on, I'm always gravitating towards an everyday makeup look. And this palette is, this gonna be my everyday palette, like for real, for real. I can already tell. Look at that, it's like not too warm. It's just the perfect shade to contour my nose. <gasps> I am here for this. I'm excited y'all, like really excited, okay. So I think I'm gonna use this, uh, the shade Harvest, like the, um, the shadow or the, the powder. I'm gonna use that in my crease and then we're gonna go ahead and try out the, uh, the Merit Cream Shadow. Yeah, this is like, this is nice. This is nice. So taking a blending brush, I'm going back into, the, uh, back into Harvest, the powder and putting it in the crease. This is, y'all, you know, when I say I probably won't be putting this palette down between now and winter, cause this is literally all I need. I have my warm tone browns, I have my cool tone browns, I have my lighter tones that I can use for eyeshadow. I can probably use one of these lighter shades as concealer, probably. I don't know, maybe I'm taking it too far with that. <laughs> mm, I don't know, but I literally have every shade I need, like every neutral shade I need in this one palette. And look at that, the perfect crease color. I honestly feel like I could have went in with Core. Let's see, let me see. Just to warm it up a little bit more, cause I mean, it looks good, but just to give me a little bit more warmth, I'm gonna take Core. and just kind of go slightly above the crease. Like right here, you see where I'm putting it? Like right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Now all I need to do is the lid, which we're gonna use the Merit um, Solo shadow, solo, yeah, solo, solo shadow in the shade Viper on the lid. And I'm gonna take the little brush that I got with it. Yo, this is coming out good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna pick up a good amount of the product because I just want to put it all over my lid. This is it, girl. This is it. This is it. Wow, this actually like, hold on. It didn't take much for me to blend it. Like, it's just seamlessly blending into the shadow. Like, it's not patchy, it's not. This is a really easy cream to work with. This is nice. Really nice. Um, I'm gonna do that little brush one more time, the little blending brush that I was using, going back into Harvest. And taking it in the crease on the outer corner. Like that. Cause I always try to like, I always try to set my creams up. And I don't have a powder green eyeshadow to set this with. Hmm. Let's cross our fingers that, you know, that it looks good. Um, now the last thing I need to do to the, uh, to, to the eyes is mascara. 
Oh, I'm gonna put some lashes on. I'm gonna put my Kiss lashes, the lash clusters. I'm gonna put these on. Put on some mascara, eyeliner on my waterline, black eyeliner. And that's literally all I'm gonna do to the eyes. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera because that takes a minute. So I'll be back. I love, 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 love how, oh, I forgot I'm out of this stuff. I love how it turned out. It's subtle, but it's still really pretty. You see the green, you see the warm colors. Let's call this like a matcha, matcha latte makeup look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the finishing powder under my eyes to smooth everything out, even though everything still looks pretty smooth. But I always like to go in with this. So I'm just gonna take the other side of the Real Technique sponge and just take some of this and just go right here under the eyes and also and I also kind of soften up that contour with it too okay blush I'm gonna take this from Ami Calais this is the multi stick in the shade desert date it's like a rosy terracotta -y. no it's actually more rose color and you can put this on the lips too but we're not gonna do the lips with it today um let's use this I'm gonna take it on here this is another Sonia Kashuk brush. It comes in like this. She has like these little travel sets that you can get from Target. And this one came with this brush. It came with an eyeshadow brush and also a flat shadow brush. I'm putting it on the cheeks. Okay. Cute, 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 cute. Let's see what's next, what's next. I'm gonna open this to swatch it for you guys. I didn't swatch it in store, but I was just looking at the sample and the sample looked good. So we're gonna see what it looks like. Um, I didn't use the Fenty Shadow Stick, so we'll use that in another video because I already have like everything on the eyes that I pretty much want on the eyes. But yeah, we'll do the Fenty Shadow Stick in a different video so I just want to use this and the say lip oil I don't think um I don't think I'm gonna have to line my lip I really don't think I will but we'll see this is such a pretty color <laughs> look y'all I'm so dramatic but look at the color y'all let's swatch it let's swatch it Yes, I love a nude that's not like too nude or too dark or too light, something I can put on without putting them, without using a mirror, you know? And this is one of those shades that I can just literally just pop on the lips without using a mirror. Mm, look at that color, y'all. And I like this because it's, it's kind of glossy. It's like a lip gloss in a stick form. Yeah, we literally don't need a liner with this. I'm just popping this on. Don't need a liner with this. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. And just to top it off, I'm gonna go in with the Say Lip Oil. And this is, again, in the shade Push. I'm gonna swatch this so y'all can see it. So this is a little bit darker. So it might change the color up on the lips a little bit, but that's okay. I love it, y'all. Love it. Mm. And these don't have a smell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, y'all. Y'all, I'm so excited for like the products that we use today. Like it just excited me. Like really excited me. I feel like y'all could tell. Cause I'm like really just like, oh, I'm giddy over these products and the look that I came up with. I think I'm done. Yeah, I just need to spray my face with the Tatcha spray. And this is a dewy mist. This just brings the 
the, the glow back into the skin. Brings the face to life. And I just like pressing it in with the damp sponge. I can't get over this lip and the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna brush my hair down. I think I'm gonna put a shirt on real quick because I kind of want to film a TikTok. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, not too much on me. I know it is not time for turtlenecks. I know. But there's no sleeves on here. I mean, but this thing is like kind of choking me. But I got it on because I felt like it went with the theme, you know? Fall, makeup, fall makeup, just fall in general. Um, but yeah, y'all, let me know if you tried any of these products, girl. And if there's any other new products out there that you want me to try out, let me know what the product is. And y'all know we're gonna go shop for that product. But also let me know what you think about the overall look. Y'all already know I'm here for it. Like, I feel like I was saying it throughout the whole video, um, but I'm not liking this sweater. Like, it's really itchy. I got it from Zara last year. It's like a crop sweater. Um, but it's cute, you know, for, I guess, photos or like, filming, you know, content in it. Um, but yeah, girl, that is all that I have for today's Get Ready With Me. Y'all know I love doing these chill, just get ready with me's and my vanity. And um, literally all the products that I tried out, I can't like, I can't move. I feel like I have one neck brace. <laughs> Literally all the products I tried out today were pretty good. Uh, I have no complaints with not a single product yet. Yet. Because y'all know I still come back in later videos to tell you guys my updated thoughts on the product. So, um, which reminds me, I haven't done like a favorite slash product update video in a while. So I need to work on that. Um, but that's it girl. Thank y'all for hanging out with me while I tried out these new products. I hope y'all enjoyed. What was your favorite product that I used in today's video? Even if you haven't, like, even if you haven't already tried it, what was your favorite product that I swatched or applied? What was it? Let me know that too down below in the comments, but that's it girl. Thank you again for hanging out with me while I did my face. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one.